Well, we are celebrating one of the fruits of fall, the apple. So many varieties, so many options. Here with some fun facts and recipes. Registered dietitian and nutritionist Monique Richard. Always fun to have you on the show. Yes, always great to be here. And look Good at morning. this. Apples, we were talking, an apple a day. An apple a day. You know the saying, an apple a day makes the dietitian happy. <laughs> <laughs> a little twist on that. Exactly. But so many great things in yeah. the apple and so many things that we can do with it. So many things and so many beneficial nutrients in an apple and so many ways we can prepare them. If you don't like crunch, you can have applesauce. There's so many different varieties. Yeah. And so many different apples, right? 7,500 yes. worldwide. My intern and I were looking up some of these stats. 2,500 available in the U.S. as far as varieties. Can you believe that? Crazy. <laughs> so if you like a sweeter, if you like a tart, if you want a baking right. apple. And we were talking about all the fun orchards that you can go yes. visit this time of year. Yes, get outside. Try them all. Exactly. Uh, yeah. But you've got some great recipes with some of the different varieties. We do, yeah. We've got some baked apples here. So if we're coming up on the holiday season, we want to cut down, maybe we're watching our carbohydrate intake or the amount of sugar that we're using. Baked apples have an apple pie already in its own vehicle, right? Ooh. So you just core it out, put some brown sugar, some cinnamon, a little pat of butter, bake it for about 30 to 45 minutes on 375, done. <gasps> Oh my goodness, my house smells so amazing. Pretty. Yeah, they are pretty. And of course, these for TV are the little bit, you know, leftover from, from already this weekend. But they're absolutely gorgeous when they come out. Scoop of ice cream to finish Ooh. it off. A great after school snack, too, as well. If you just want something a little bit more savory, more sweet, you can put some pecans in there, um, some walnuts, um, lots of variety, you know, as far as options to stuff them. Um, raisins, if you like oh. dates. Uh, those types of things. Um, so yeah. And then do you just cut it open kind of right down the middle? You do and just or you can scoop it out and mush it and everything kind of oozes out. Oh I love the ooze. <laughs> the cinnamon sugar ooze. Exactly. With with like nice caramel. and hot. Exactly. Oh my goodness yes. that looks so good. Okay yeah. and then over here these look amazing. I love these little apple chips. Apple chips, right? Instead of the potato, instead of the vegetable oils and all the things that come with it, the salt, apple chips. You just cut them as, as thin as you possibly can, put them in the oven, uh, 200 degrees for three to four hours. But get this, if you have an air fryer, 10 to 12 minutes. Ooh. Put some cinnamon again, a little bit of sugar. You're really getting no, um, you know, energy dense additional calories. You're getting nutrients. It does take the water out, but it keeps most of the nutrients in. So you're still getting some delicious nutrients. Um, great after school snack. Oh, yeah. And apples have been shown to lower cholesterol and blood pressure. Nice. So all you did was slice them up. And then put the stuff on them and throw them in the, exactly. you could throw them in the air fryer? Yep, air fryer 10 to 12 minutes and in the oven. Again, you don't have to do anything. So even if it takes two to three hours, go do some laundry, go to do an apple orchard. You know, they're just going to sit and, um, and do their thing. They're going to do their thing. And yeah. then when you get home, the house is going to smell amazing. Exactly. And, and you've got this snack. healthy snack. Yeah. And we're just getting started. She's got some other fabulous yes. ideas. So we're going to come back a little bit later on in the show. But if you would like more information, you can go to Eat Right rx.com and of course to find a dietitian or other recipes you can always go to eatright.org for more information as well Monique thank you so much You're very welcome we'll be right back Bye. Come write your own story at the General Morgan Inn.
The following portion of Daytime Tri-Cities is sponsored by the Tennessee Lottery. Well, math can be an intimidating subject, but not for Johnson County math teacher Abby Wilson. Casey Marler tells us how her ability to fill students with confidence makes her this week's Educator of the Week. It starts with connection and a welcoming environment in her classroom. And this successful equation ends with students believing and achieving far beyond quizzes and tests. I like to teach because of the influence that I have with kids. Um, I get to form a lot of relationships and it makes a big difference. Abby Wilson is a high school math teacher at Johnson County High School. She teaches Algebra 2 honors and college prep classes to about 60 students per day. I think it's important to foster with that positive learning environment that there are no dumb questions and that anything that one of us says, someone else can build upon it and can grow and keep working in that problem solving sort of mentality. That teamwork shows in her classroom. Wilson tries to make learning fun with games and hands on activities. She's got passion about our school. She's got passion about Johnson County and most importantly she's got passion about her profession. Qualities that are even rubbing off on her own family. It's gone on to the point that my dad later pursued education as well, and so now he's teaching here at the same school as I am. Wilson's dad teaches in the vocational department and is a coach at Johnson County. He is also one very proud papa. Congratulations to Abby Wilson, this week's Educator of the Week. For Daytime Tri-Cities, I'm Casey Marlar. The preceding portion of Daytime Tri-Cities was sponsored by the Tennessee Lottery. The following segment sponsored by Model City Riffing. Well, this week's high school standout hit the ground running in middle school to spend more time with his friends. News Channel 11 Sports Nick Dugan tells us how in his final year on the Trailblazers cross country and track teams, he's found a family and a sport that he'll pursue beyond high school. Daniel Boone senior Andrew Whaley started running cross country in middle school without many expectations. I was kind of just there to have fun and just have a team to be with. But as he logged more miles, his mindset and skill set began to change. Once I actually started putting effort in, like noticing the uh, improvements in myself. That can happen once teammates become your best friends and motivators. They can help push you towards like goals that you may think you not you might not be able to do. At the start that goal for Whaley was running long distances. When I first started I was running like just a mile and not a very good mile. And now I'm up to seven miles. In truth Whaley prefers a sort of middle ground between distance and speed. It's why he's taken to the 800 meter race. This running's not my go-to but 800 is definitely my favorite because it's like a faster but still kind of distance. No matter the event or the course, he's learned one very important trait that has helped him as much during the school day as it does after. Running is a disciplined sport and so it if you're going to be disciplined in running, you have to be disciplined in your studies. When he's not running, Whaley keeps busy as a member of Beta Club, National Honor Society, and Student Council, volunteering at events like freshman orientation. We could help tour families around the school and help the freshmen out. Because sometimes service is its own reward. It's just nice to help someone out. In gray, Nick Dugan, News Channel 11 Sports. The preceding segment sponsored by Model City Roofing. Well, the highly anticipated opening day of Annie Roos Donuts and Coffees is now just a day away. Of course, this is the second location, the opening here in Johnson City, 845 tomorrow. They will cut the ribbon and then the doors will open and we can all get some of those ginormous donuts and those pretzels. And now they even have specialty coffees. But today we're going to give you your first look around because we're going to go inside and talk to him a little bit more about the opening. Hard to believe that this all started back in 2008 as a hobby at the Johnson City Farmers Market. We are giving
giving you your first look around. I know everybody is so excited. We have Arlen here and Arlen, first of all, just stepping inside. I mean, your eyes get this big. It is beautiful in here. Thank you, thank you. We couldn't be more excited. It, it's, it's been a long time coming. It's been a lot longer than we, we anticipated and wanted, but we really couldn't be more excited to be this close. It's, it's actually happening. It's kind of crazy. So. Yeah, 24 hours away now, and it looks like all those last minute things happening as you guys get ready. What's been the response? I know on Facebook and from the public, they are so excited. What's it like for you guys having all that anticipation? Um, it's, it's been really great and, and it's been encouraging for us to, to, to see the support from the community and all the support we've had in our, in our uh, donut trailers and that type of thing. And really the, lo the location is great. We've had incredible response on social media and in person even. Everybody's so excited and I don't think anybody's more excited than we are to, to be back in Johnson City. Uh, this is where it all started. Of course, talking about Full Circle makes me think about those ginormous donuts. Let's talk a little bit about what you guys are going to have and what you're going to be serving inside. So I know in the trailers you were used to just, you know, our vanilla glazed and those are those are phenomenal donuts, obviously. And then and we usually had one extra, but here we're going to have a much bigger expanded menu. Uh, we plan to have about eight different flavors. We, we switch them out at the beginning of every month. So being it's about October, we're going to have some fall flavors. Really excited about some of those. Um, you'll see some new, new flavors on the menu. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see those. Um, can't wait to see the response we get from those. And also, we're going to be adding coffee, specialty coffees. Uh, so we're really excited about that. And then we'll obviously have our classic buttered and soft pretzels and the pretzel dogs as well. So we could be more excited about that. What do you put in that pretzel dough? I mean, it's so good, right? It's a lot of love, I guess. <laughs> it is a lot of love. So of course, doors opening Thursday morning, 845. You've got the ribbon cutting. Tell me a little bit about what Thursday is going to look like for the public, because I know everybody's super excited. Well, I, I, I don't really know exactly what it's going to look like, except it's going to be crazy. We expect to see a lot of people out here. Um, it, yeah, ribbon cuttings at 845, and we can't be more, yeah, we're just super excited for everybody to be able to see what we've got here and to come together. Um, we want this place to, to uh, be a great spot for community, to, for community to be built, and yeah, we're just super grateful to, to God and, and the community here for, for allowing us to be here. It's gonna be fantastic and lots of tables and decor. It is beautiful inside. The donuts will be ready, the pretzels, and now specialty coffee. Thank you so much for letting us come in just a little bit early to give us a little sneak peek. You're quite welcome. We're so glad you're here. Um, yeah, and we can't wait for the rest of y'all to see it as well. All right, as he said, doors are opening tomorrow morning, 8.45, that ribbon cutting ceremony. And then after that, it's donuts and pretzels galore for everybody here in the Tri-Cities area. They've got a new Facebook page too. You can like that, so you can like them on Facebook. It's Annie Roos Donuts and Specialty Coffees.